step one of the project to make this forge floor was to print our design basically step one was to figure out just exactly what gears I would need I'll put a link to the uh, to the website I use for calculation and also a link to Matthias Waddell's web page where you can purchase the gear creation software which is really nice I think it would even be good if you're using the, a 3d printer to make these gears because you can you can design your gears and then download it to a format that could be loaded into your uh, into your 3d printer anyway I'm going to use plywood I've got some leftover plywood from my kitchen cabinet project and this is one set of gears here I think it's 60 to 15 I think if I remember right there were there's going to be six three sets six gears um, just printed on four pieces of paper but with the grid pattern that he puts in there you can line it up real good tape it together next I'll take and uh, I'll cut this piece off here cut this one off on each side of this one here take the wood inside let it warm up a little bit it's cold out here in the barn it's 40 some degrees today and then I'll use some spray on adhesive to stick that pattern right to the wood and then we'll cut it out on the bandsaw so I'll go cut these off take them in and get them warmed up glue them on the next step will be at the bandsaw see you then now as you can see I have my gear templates glued to my plywood I put a brand new saw blade in my band saw and this is going to make noise so I'll probably mute the sound but we'll see what we can do with this small one here Right after I changed my glasses, you know, when I was when I was a young lad, my father ran a sawmill. He was the sawyer. He would sharpen the saw and run it all day long. He always had a set of glasses he'd put on when he sharpened his saw, and he'd take them and put it in, put it in the cabinet with his uh, with the extra teeth for the saw and the files and such. After five o'clock, well, five o'clock's when we had, we called it supper at my house. It's dinner, a lot of people call it. Anyway, at five o'clock we had dinner. He'd sit down, and then he'd go in and sit down to read the paper. And more than once he'd say, Bill, I forgot my glasses down at the mill. Could you go get them for me? And I'd traipse down the mill, and I always never could figure out why he needed so many glasses. I knew he had bifocals, and he wore them most of the time, and... Of course, back then I didn't have glasses at all. Slowly switched to reading glasses, and then to prescription, then to bifocals, and now I've got this extra set of glasses. So that's the story of that. Now, number two, I have never had a brand new saw blade in this Delta bandsaw I've got. And I'm so glad that I ordered those new blades. This thing works so much better with sharp blades. I haven't used it that much, but this works nice. So let's get back to cutting. I've always had.
had trouble following the mark with this saw. Evidently it was a dull blade. I was afraid I was going to have to use my... Uh, my skill saw for this, but this is working out real easy. need to adjust the height of my lights so that I don't have this shadow right here. And you're sitting behind the lights, so I need to move you. Bring you in a little closer. Let's see how that works. I might have to put the lights... I might have to spread them apart and put one over here behind me. Let's see what this is like. First of five gears, one down, five to go. Or first of six gears, excuse me. Oh, let's get the big one out. Just do it. Move my lights back a little bit. My lights and you, you're in the way. How's that? Got a little kerosene heater going over here at my side. Warm my hands up a little bit.
kindling for the firework, fireplace. gear number two. Let's mark the center point on those and then we'll be done with this piece of paper. You may not be able to see what I'm seeing. Of course, a lot of dust there too. Let's back this up a little ways. There we go. Yeah, we'll mark those, mark those center points. Then the paper could come off. That one just a little bit. Well, let's fasten those to a scrap piece of wood and just see how they turn out. Well, <clears throat> I have taken the liberty putting a small hole in the middle of these with my drill press. And of course, having those in bearings would make a hell of a difference. Having them mounted real good and steady, not just on a little nail, make a hell of a difference. There we go, there's gear number one and gear number two. I'll get about cutting the other gears and getting some bearings and then we'll go from there. <laughs> 